All right, welcome back to the shop. So in this video, I'm gonna go over setting the air ride controller on the uh, growler on the M1161 and the M1163. Right now mine's set at standard height at the regular travel height. Um, so here's the controller here. We have three, three selections. We have transport or kneeling, and that was set up so that you, you can lower the growler all the way down. Uh, and that was so that it would fit into the aircraft. Um, you also have ride height, which is the ride height you, know, you should be driving at. It's kind of the optimum height. And then you have max, which you shouldn't be using very often. Um, it kind of throws your CG off a little bit. It puts the center weight up a little too high. But um, also, it puts too much stress on the CV axles. It stretches them out at such a weird angle that um, a lot of guys are breaking axles on these things. Especially on the 1163s, they seem to break a lot more axles. And if you look at the suspension on those, I don't have one here in the, in the shop right now, but if, if you look at one, um, the axles seem like they get at a lot greater angle than they do on the 1161s. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's just what it looks like when I look at them. Um, so anyways, so I hooked up my shop air so that we could just have my air compressor. Uh, my shop air compressor is filling the tank, so we don't have to have my compressor running the whole time. I've got the technical manual. It's got a section here on setting it. Uh, one, one interesting thing I've noticed says the air ride system may occasionally require reprogramming to reprogram the system perform the following. So even though it's set once, um, that doesn't mean that it's always going to stay right. And I don't know what can change that if the system just gets out of whack or if it says your airbags, uh, you know, get older, they don't stretch the same. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the, why it would go out of uh, whack, but I'm going to show you in a minute. There's, there's some other options, kind of things you can do to this to use some of the controls in a different way. Um, just hang tight and I'll show you what I mean. But anyways, it shows here the procedure to set it. It's pretty simple. Okay, so we have air. Um, we have the key on. Right now you can see that it's at, at normal height. Okay, so here's how you set them. You go and use the toggle switches and you know each toggle switch is for each, each wheel and you set it where you want it. You set the height that you want and then you hold the button that's behind the dash and then push and hold this button here and hold them it says for five to ten seconds and then you let go and it programs it into whatever um, you know thing here you have it dialed into so I'm gonna show you something just to just to show you kind of how that works I'm gonna go to max we saw a minute ago that max was all four wheels all the way up on mine um, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take and lower I'm gonna lower the, pass, the passenger side all the way down okay so I've got the passenger side lowered all the way down the driver's side is still up where it was. And I'm gonna, I have it on max. So I'm gonna push the button. I'm gonna push and hold this button. And count to five, well it says five to 10 seconds. Okay, we'll let go. Now I'm gonna go back to normal height, or back to right height. Okay, just gonna come back up. So it's back at right height. Now when I go to max, select max, push the enter button. It's gonna do exactly what I told it to do. And it's just lowering that right side all the way down. See now I just leveled it out. So the right side's all the way down. Left side, left side's up pretty high. So what I'm getting at here is that instead of using max because you don't really need max because if you do need to raise up to clear an obstacle, you can just, uh, do it manually with the toggle switches. But if you want, you can take and program max for a separate height. So say you want a road height, like where you want to ride on the street and you want a, a better, more comfortable ride. Um, so you don't want to set it all the way up as high as it says to set it, you know, for the normal um, optimum height. You can set it for where you want and you could either use the kneeling one or you can use the max one and set that as a default for, say, for the street. And then you want to go out for off-road and you want to set up to that optimum height or whatever height you feel works best for you, then set one of the other ones for that height. And that way you can, because for me, this is kind of a waste. Actually, kneeling's a waste and max is a waste because I'll never really use them, you know, or I don't need to use them. I'll always use right height. But then when you go off-road and if you want to pump up a little more power, say, you know, just because you're going to ride it harder or something like that or you know for the street you want to lower it down you want a little softer you can you can use these presets however you want now on most growlers this 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 is where it should be on every growler but i have a couple out here i'll show you um some that are sitting on my yard out here that don't have these marks on them because they were repainted um, one of them they actually put the marks in the wrong spot when they repainted it but those marks are to set the level for the right height so here's what i've done 
I've got these two magnets, put them on a string. Okay, and there we are, uh, you know, back with the string right on the top of the tire. On mine, I actually, there's a little bit of tension on the string. I actually lowered the body down just about a half inch. It's actually about a half inch lower than what they say. I just thought it was a little bit too high and I wanted to give my axles, I guess my CV axles were like pretty much completely straight, or as straight as I could get them when it's at ride height. Okay, so then we'll come around to the driver's side rear, put our magnet on, get our string lined up. Magnet on this side. Get it lined up. Let's see, we're, we're way off with this one. As you uh, set each wheel, it kind of throws the geometry of the body off, so you kind of have to work it around. So we're gonna raise it up. Tighten the string a little bit here. Make sure it's at both lines. Okay, so we're just above it. We're down. You know, we're just touching it. I'm going just a little bit more just to get my custom height. Okay, then we'll go back to the front wheels. Raise it up a little bit just to see where we're at. Okay. So right there's touching. Okay, so this is my half inch that I wanted to lower it. You see it'll be off a little bit when you go around the second time. Yeah, we'll adjust this one and then we'll check that one more back one and we should be good. So I'm gonna raise it, raise it back up. Okay, it's just touching. Okay, right there. And we'll check this one and then we'll be done. Okay, then we'll just check this last rear one again. See how it's up a little bit? That's not where it was. Okay, that's just touching. Okay, then a little bit more. Since that one was so far off, after going around, ah, this magnet's just too strong. I'm gonna check this other back one one more time. There's string on there. Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so once we've done that, we've got the right height set right where we want it. Come back around. Okay, then we're gonna push the button down here. We're gonna hold it and push this and count to 10. Okay, and that should set the ride height for the normal ride position. So to test that, we're gonna go up to max. Actually, let's go to kneeling. So we lowered it all the way. Now let's go to ride height. We're going to push and hold for two seconds. And it should charge it up. Right there. <laughs> Little adjustment there. Okay, so that's, that's it. So right now I have ride height set just a half inch below what, what the book calls for. And if I go to uh, max, it, it lowers down about another inch and a half. It, well, probably an inch, inch to an inch and a half to give me a softer ride on the street. And I still have kneeling set, but I could set that for whatever I want. I could have a third setting if I want. All right, so on this growler, you can see this growler's been repainted. Um, so they, they put, they painted some of the marks back on it. Okay, this mark's not in the right spot. It should be right about here. It's about an inch above that corner. Six inches down from the bottom of this boss, it should be right here, not down over here. This mark I put on with a marking pen. It did, they didn't have a mark here, so I put that with a marking pen to where it belongs. On the back wheel, this, this is a real great one. This is a fun one. So I put this mark here because it was missing. It had this mark in the wrong spot, so I put it where it belongs to the marking pen. And get this. <laughs> they put a mark on the B pillar, on the number two pillar. This mark shouldn't even be there. This mark is supposed to be back here. So check your growler. Check it with the dimensions that I showed you on mine. And if it's not right, then remark it. 
if yours doesn't have the marks, I'm going to give you the measurement. So I go right here to the corner of the body, or the outer part of the body. That mark should be 11 inches. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah, right about 11 inches, maybe just a little bit below. And then on this one, let me find a good spot to mark down from. I'm going to mark down from right here, from the corner of this uh, tie-down bracket. Right there, it should be at 6 inches. Okay, that's the driver's side uh, front. Okay, so on the driver's side rear, I'm going to hook it right there on the bottom part of the body. We're going to look across. It's right about 10 and a quarter inches. That's where it should be. And then on the on this one here, I'm hooked right on the bottom corner. And it's right about nine and a half inches. I'll go to the passenger side. I'm going to see if they're the same. It might not because the body's a little... Different. Yeah, so okay, so here on the passenger side, uh, the very rear, for the rear tire, the rear mark, it's about nine and three quarter inches above the corner of the body here. And then front of the wheel, we've got, looks like it's about ten and an eighth. Let's go to the front tire, driver's side front tire. Uh, let's see what we can mark down from or measure from. I'm going to measure from right here, right at the bottom of the boss there for that, that lifting eye, and we're six inches. And then we'll do the same here for the front. I'm going right off here, the top of that bracket, the bottom of that bracket, and mine's at five and three quarter. Almost five and three quarter, like five and five, five, and five eighths. I don't know if my marks are just, if they kind of generally put them in there, or I've noticed one thing when I put the vehicle on the lift, it, it picks up kind of crooked so this body is not symmetrical um, so if the video has helped you please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe um, hit the notification bell so you can see when i have new videos coming i'm just about done with this thing i know every time i do a video i see i'm just about done with this thing but this thing is just keeps giving and giving me more work and more headaches uh, i got a lot done on it and i've got just a, a little bit more stuff a little suspension work we're doing on the front um, interior is almost completely done. The engine's completely done. It's just, I got to get that suspension finished up. And then there's going to be a video coming out on that um, shortly, as soon as I'm done with that. So hit the notification bell, then you'll know when videos come up on stuff like this. You know, um, if you own a growler and you have questions about how to do certain services on it or do stuff to it, um, I'm going to have videos coming up all the time on this. So, um, anyways, hit like, hit subscribe, share it with a friend. And uh, thank you for watching. And since this is coming out right before Christmas, have a great Christmas and have a good New Year as well. Um, thanks for watching. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's how you set the uh, ride height on these things. Um, if you have a chance to get a copy of this TM, um, it's got a lot of great information in there. It's not a full service manual or anything, but it's more of the, you know, the technical manual for the operator. So the information it had there for the air ride setting that is actually kind of telling the operator or the driver, you know, the, what the, what the sequence of what he needs to do to start the thing to go use the vehicle. And this thing shows everything you need to check periodically. It has some troubleshooting that's like troubleshooting you could do in the field. Um, but if there's anything that's more advanced, it tells you, obviously just bring it, you have to bring it back to the shop and it's, um, bring it back to the mechanics rather than just the driver trying to do it. But, um, that's a great resource to have. So before you start, make sure you get a copy of the TM, the technical manual, yourself a large iced tea from In-N-Out and nothing can go wrong.